Hey everyone, um, in case you haven't heard yet, we had a very exciting announcement last week for console. We added the Microsoft Azure IoT Hub integration to the console integration lineup. So now console users have a very simple way to send their IoT data straight to their Microsoft Azure IoT Hub dashboard. Um, so that's a really exciting thing to do and very straightforward to get set up. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of just how to get that up and going from console. It won't take very long and hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, reminder, I will have the docs linked to this video. So I'm going to link the doc to integrations, just if you are still a little bit unclear on what integrations are, what they do, what their function is, as well as the specific Azure IoT Hub doc. So you can check that out as well if you have any questions about setup. All right, so from the Flows workspace over on the left-hand side, you can see I already have Azure IoT Hub set up to a device, but if you want to add it, click on Integrations right here, add a new integration, and you'll see the Azure IoT Hub right here. So you'll just click on that. Now, obviously you need to have an Azure IoT Hub um, account set up and made. So it's asking for hub name, policy name, and primary key. So it's important in the Azure IoT Hub. On the left-hand side, under settings, you can click on shared access policies. Click on device. Okay, and it gives you the primary key here. So you would just copy and paste that over into console right here. You also need to make sure these permissions, registry read, registry write, and device connect are all selected. So console requires those following permissions from Azure IoT Hub to be able to get set up. I'm gonna cancel that just because it's already set up a certain way. Okay. Um, so make sure you have those selected. You'll just enter the hub name, the policy name, the primary key, and then Add that, add that integration. So it's really important. You must create your own policy and ensure that it includes those permissions that I just said. So the registry read, registry write, device connect. Although the IoT Hub owner policy includes those by default, it's not designed to be used for external integration. So you need to make sure you go in and select. Once you create your own policy, select those specific um, permissions. So you'll run into some issues if you're not doing that. All right, so that's set up. We added that integration on console. So it shows up right here. And then very simple, it's connected to a device. If you click on, if you go to devices, it's connected to, as you can see, Disco 321. So on devices here, I click on that. Now I haven't sent any data today. Actually, sorry, let me go back up. You can see on the flow section here on the device page that it's connected to Azure. Um, no, no data today, but if I look at the event log from yesterday, I can see, if I go to integration messages, I can see that it's connected and sending data, the receiving data from and to Azure integration. So it's working. Awesome. So from the IO, Azure IoT Hub dashboard, if you're in the overview, Again, no data today, but if I click on the last seven days, I can see the number of messages, device to cloud messages, connected devices, total IoT devices. All right, so you have the device sending data over to Azure right now. Um, over on the left-hand side here in the Azure menu, you see IoT devices. So this has devices that have been linked from console so devices on console that have the integration set up. So just a thing to know when you're adding devices on console, when the Azure IoT Hub is connected to a device, the Azure IoT Hub integration is connected to a device, IoT Hub over here will check to see if that device already exists in this list. And if it doesn't, it will automatically create that device for you here. So that makes it even simpler for you. You don't have to go in and create it. You can create it in IoT Hub first, um, but if you don't, if you just link the integration to a device in console, IoT Hub will automatically create that device ID in your device list over here. So again, very simple, very straightforward, easy to use once you're up and going in a few minutes.
you have your data and you can use it. All right, again, if you have any questions specifically about integrations or about the Azure IoT Hub integration, um, check out the docs links attached to this video. Also just check out the Helium docs um, website. It has a lot of information about getting started with console, other integrations, functions, all those types of things. Also the um, Helium console how-to tip, tips and tricks playlist that kind of walks you through different things on console as well. So check those out. Um, come to Discord if you have any questions and hopefully this helped and we appreciate everyone using console. Thank you.